In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather around the table of the Lord's Word and Sacrament as one community of faith and as one church in celebration of the solemnity of St. John Bosco. He was well known for dedicating his life for the betterment of the young people. He offered all his knowledge and time in bringing the young people closer to God. Through his intercession, may we learn to be agents of God's hope and grace, bringing everyone closer toward Jesus. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest, St. John Bosco, as a father and teacher of the young, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God to comfort all who mourn, to place on those who mourn in Zion a diadem instead of ashes, to give them oil of gladness in place of mourning, a glorious mantle instead of a listless spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
At that time, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child, such as this in my name, receives me. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it will be better for him to have a great millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Reverend Father Jerry Martin, SDB, Provincial Superior of the Salesians of Don Bosco. Reverend Father Fernando Urbano, SDB, our parish priest. The Salesian community, dear brother priests and deacon, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. It gives me great joy to celebrate with your parish community the feast of your patron, St. John Bosco. Happy Fiesta po sa inyong lahat. Happy Fiesta! My dear brother, brothers and sisters in Christ, on this joyous feast of St. John Bosco, we gather around the table of the Lord, hearts bringing, brimming with gratitude for a man who embodied the very essence of gospel joy, hope, and boundless love. Today, let us also let us celebrate Don Bosco, a shepherd who found his flock not in rolling hills, but in the bustling streets. A father who found his children not in his blood, but in the vulnerable eyes of youth. The prophet Isaiah, in our first reading, paints a vibrant picture of God's promise for those who follow him. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. This, my friends, was the very mission that resonated in Don Bosco's heart. He saw the brokenhearted youth trapped in the prisons of poverty neglect and despair and in them he saw the face of a loving God yearning for their liberation. He saw in every child a potential prophet, a bearer of God's light. His oratories teeming with laughter and learning were not mere schools 
but sanctuaries where wounds were healed, hearts were mended, and dreams were ignited. St. Paul, in his letter to the Philippians, echoes this sentiment. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Don Bosco embodied this joy, this unwavering faith in the face of adversity. He refused to let the darkness extinguish the spark of possibility within every young soul he encountered. He taught them through love, laughter, and a playful spirit, reminding them that the Lord's peace, a peace surpassing all earthly understanding, would forever dwell within them. Jesus, in today's Gospel, speaks of childlike humility. He asks his disciples, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Don Bosco understood this better than anyone. He knelt with the youth, played with them, and entered their world without judgments. He saw in their playful innocence a reflection of God's own pure joy, a reminder that true greatness lies not in power or prestige, but in the simple act of offering a loving hand and a compassionate heart. But how did Don Bosco sustain this boundless love, this unwavering faith, the answer is, through these pillars that anchored his life, his devotion to Mama Mary, and his trust in Jesus, he was a living presence, a mother guiding his every step. He saw in her the embodiment of God's tender care, and he poured that same tenderness into every young soul he encountered. And then there was the Eucharist, the source of his lifeblood. The Eucharist is the compass of my life, he declared, and it showed. He saw in the consecrated host not just a symbol, but a living presence the source of his strength and his hope. He spent hours in adoration, drawing from that well of grace the energy to love, the wisdom to guide, and the courage to face any challenge. He, un he understood that without communion with Christ, his efforts would be in vain. The Eucharist fueled his compassion, ignited his hope, and reaffirmed his mission to lead the youth to the Savior's embrace. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this feast, let us not simply admire Don Bosco from afar. Let his life be a call to action a challenge to embrace a spirit of joy, hope, and boundless love. Let us, like him, find God in the faces of the marginalized, the forgotten, and the vulnerable. Let us, like him, offer a listening ear, a playful heart, and a hand outstretched in love. Let us, like him, Turn to Mama Mary for guidance and seek strength in the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. If we are to summarize 
John Bosco's teachings. Perhaps this would capture it. Love all, bear with all, pray for all. This might be the best program for our young ones today. Let us make this our program too, so that like Don Bosco, we may become instruments of God's love, bearers of hope, and shepherds who lead the flock of young hearts to the foot of the cross, where true joy and everlasting freedom await. May the joy of St. John Bosco fill our hearts. May the love of Mary, Mama Mary guide our steps. And may the peace of Christ bless our souls. Amen. I believe in one God, the, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being his beloved children. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our shepherds in the church, our bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful and persevere in seeking out the lost and straying sheep of God's flock. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That world leaders may heed the prophetic voices that speak out for justice and compassion so that there may be peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the grace to turn and become like little children humble and obedient in God's sight. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the special intentions that have been recommended to our prayers, for the little ones who suffer in body and soul, that their angels may mediate God's healing and grace to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed ones who were faithful to God in this life, that he may be their sweetness and joy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our heart, let us pray for our intentions and the intentions of all who ask our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to little children, 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Saint John Bosco, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. John Bosco, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Bosco, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May he make of us, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Saint John Bosco, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the intercessory prayer to St. John Bosco. O St. John Bosco, whom God raised to be the friend of our souls, set us free from the wiles of the enemy, that we may offer our hearts to the Lord, whole and undefiled. Trusting in your immense love of God, we turn to your powerful intercession, that we may obtain the graces we beg for. We pray for our families and loved ones, protect them from all dangers and any form of sickness of mind and body. Keep them safe from spiritual decay and moral confusion, conflicts and misunderstandings, separation and depression, sadness, apathy and despair. May they always remain hopeful in their faith, united in love, and joyful in sacrifice for one another. We lift up to your loving care our children and young ones. Teach them to live as enthusiastic Christians and dependable servants in society. Lead them to follow the ways of the gospel and treasure their intimacy with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Dear St. John Bosco, may we burn with your ardent love for souls as we generously work for the salvation of our neighbors. Bring us closer to the Blessed Virgin Mother, that under her protective mantle, we may grow daily in holiness and ultimately share the joys of heaven. With you and with our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. St. John Bosco. Please, please be seated. On Friday, February 2, we will celebrate the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. We invite everyone to join us in our regular Mass schedule. Blessing of candles will be done at every Mass. After the Mass, we request everyone to stay in your respective places for a photo shoot with the Cardinal. There will be no other group or individual picture with the Cardinal. Thank you. On the occasion of the Solemnity of St. John Bosco, 
and as one parish community, we recognize and congratulate the contributions to Caritas Manila of our parishioner, Maria Gonzalez Goldsby, one of the awardees of Pro Ecclesia et Pontificia. The Pro Ecclesia et Pontificia Award, translating to For the Church and the Pope, signifies a person's outstanding service to the Catholic Church, was instituted by Pope Leo XIII in 1888 to commemorate his golden sacerdotal jubilee. In 1898, the decoration was made a permanent papal distinction to reward lay people for their services to the church and the Pope. Today, it is the highest commendation that the Pope can bestow upon the laity and the religious. Maria Gonzalez Goolsby received the award last January 17, 2024. During the solemn investiture ceremonies of the conferment of the papal award at the Manila Cathedral, conferred by His Eminence Jose F. Cardinal Advincula, Archbishop of Manila. Together with Maria, the cross of honor was also bestowed upon four of her fellow collaborators in Caritas Manila, as well as four lay partners of the San Jose de Trozo Parish. May we ask His Eminence, Cardinal Advincula, and Father Ronnie Urbano to hand on the award. We would like to thank our Mass Presider, His Eminence, Jose F. Cardinal Advincula, Archbishop of Manila, and all our concelebrating priests, and our Mass sponsors, the parish ministries and organizations. Thank you. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord who inspires every good intention protect you always by His grace and keep you faithful to your baptismal promises. Amen. May Christ the Good Shepherd enable you to serve with joy to your brothers and sisters after the example of our Holy Founder. Amen. May the Lord grant you who have celebrated with joy the feast of saint john bosco to walk always in faith hope and love amen and may the blessing of almighty god the father and the son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever amen, amen. go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks, thanks be to god, god. Sa Don Bosco, masaya! Sama-sama!